Hi guys, I'm here with this week's reading video, which I think you guys will really like this story because it's about the history of chocolate. Sounds delicious. Remember, as you're going through, make sure to click on each microphone so it reads to you. I'm also going to read it out loud as we go through it together. Sweet success, the history of chocolate. Chocolate comes in many forms. Whether it's a solid, liquid, or powder, millions of people around the world love chocolate. In fact, Americans alone consume about 3 billion pounds of chocolate each year. Although chocolate has been around since ancient times, it hasn't always been a sweet treat. Read on to learn the story of one of nature's oldest and most popular foods, a bittersweet beginning. Chocolate is made from the seeds of the cacao tree. This tree, which is native to Central and South America, thrives in warm tropical climates. The Maya, who lived in Central America, were among the first people to consume chocolate. This is known because pots dating back to the early 500 were found with a Mayan word for chocolate carved into them. To make chocolate, the Maya roasted the cacao seeds and then ground them into a powder. Next, they mixed the powder with hot water to produce a chocolate drink. This beverage, however, was nothing like the sweet hot cocoa drunk today. The Maya served their chocolate water cold, and it was bitter and frothy. They also added a strange ingredient to it, chili peppers. In the early 1400s, the Aztec peoples began to take over the part of Central America north of the Maya. They adopted many Maya customs like drinking chocolate water. However, only rulers and wealthy people drink it every day. The Aztecs also used the chocolate water in religious rituals. A sweet change. Christopher Columbus often gets credit for discovering America, but he may also have been the first person to bring cacao seeds to Europe. However, when Columbus presented a handful of seeds to the Spanish king in 1504, the king was not impressed. That view changed after Hernando, Hernando Cortez of Spain arrived in Central America in 1519. There, he saw firsthand the importance of cacao seeds to the Aztecs. When Cortez returned to Spain after conquering the Aztec Empire, he brought back three full chests of cacao seeds. This time, the king knew their value. Soon, drinking chocolate water was the new trend for Spanish royalty and nobles. The bitter drink the Aztec prepared was not the same drink the Spanish enjoyed. They sweetened the bitter chocolate water with sugar. Sugar hadn't been available to the Maya and the Aztecs. Later, other Europeans learned how to make this better tasting drink. By the late 1600s, chocolate houses appeared throughout Europe. There, wealthier people would gather with friends to drink cups of sweet hot chocolate. The sweet treat of today. Chocolate's next big step came in 1828. Dutch chocolate maker Conrad J. Van Houten invented a press that removed the oil from cacao seeds to produce a fine cocoa powder. Cocoa powder was easier to mix with water and led to new types of chocolate treats. For example, in 1847, Joseph Fry, a British chocolate maker, began using the cocoa powder to make solid bars of chocolate for eating. Though the first chocolate bars had sugar in them, they still had a slightly bitter taste. Then in 1876, Daniel Peter of Switzerland added milk to the recipe, creating milk chocolate bars. New inventions like the steam engine enabled factories to produce milk chocolate quickly and cheaply. Soon, milk chocolate was much more affordable and popular around the world. Chocolate certainly has come a long way from the bitter beverage drunk by ancient people. But one mystery remained for a long while. If the early chocolate water tasted so bad, why did people drink it? Now we know that chocolate has chemicals in it that make people feel good. In fact, doctors say that a very small amount of chocolate each day, especially dark chocolate, can be healthy. The Maya and the Aztecs were onto something after all, giving me more reasons to eat chocolate. All right, which statement best explains the relationship between these two facts? So, two facts. Americans consume about 3 billion pounds of chocolate each year, and chocolate has been around since ancient times, but hasn't always been a sweet treat. How do I kind of group these two together and explain their relationship? Americans have been eating a large amount of chocolate since ancient times. Well, we haven't always been eating them since ancient times. They've been around since then, but now we're eating 3 billion pounds a year. Chocolate's now a sweet treat that's very popular in the United States. It does say that it's popular in the United States because we have 3 billion pounds of it eaten and that it's now a sweet treat. It wasn't always. Chocolate has become the most popular food in the United States. Well, that was never stated. Americans wouldn't eat as much chocolate if they knew the history behind it. We don't know that either. 
So the best choice is that chocolate's now a sweet treat, right? It wasn't always sweet, and it's very popular in the United States because we eat 3 billion pounds of it. So that combines both facts. Click Done and Next. What is the relationship between the cacao tree being native to Central and South America and the Maya living in Central America? So think, the cacao tree is from Central America and the Mayans live there. So does that mean the Maya were among the first people to use cacao seeds to make chocolate? That they made a chocolate drink to cool off in the warm climate where cacao trees grow? They added chili peppers to the chocolate drink they created? Or they settled in Central America because cacao trees grew there? Well, several of these things are true, right? We do know they added chili peppers. We do know that it was hot there, but that's not why um, it's important that the Maya living there and the cacao tree being native, right, are in a relationship there or go together. It's because they were the first people to use those seeds to make chocolate because they lived there, right? They, if they didn't live there, they wouldn't have been among the first people. But because they lived there and that's where the cacao tree grew, then they used those seeds to make chocolate. Which statement best explains the relationship between these two facts? Only rulers and wealthy Aztecs drink chocolate water every day, and the Aztecs use chocolate water in religious rituals. There were not enough cacao trees to provide chocolate for all Aztecs. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with the rulers and the wealthy and religious rituals. The Aztecs value chocolate very highly. Well, if they give it to their rulers and wealthy, and it's used in religion, then they definitely do value it highly. Let's read our other choices. Only wealthy and powerful people knew the recipe for chocolate water. Well, they never said that. They never said it was only them that knew the recipe, just really them that drank it every day. Or the use of chocolate created a new religion for the Aztecs. The religion was the same, but they started using it in the religious rituals. So our best choice would be that they value chocolate very highly, which is why it was used by um, the wealthy and rulers and used in religion. Cortez's conquest of the Aztecs helped cause chocolate to become popular with Spanish royalty. One fact that created this cause and effect relationship is that Cortez brought back three chests of cacao seeds to the Spanish king. What is the other fact? So was it because the chocolate water of the Aztecs drink was bitter that caused it to become popular in Spain? Is it because Christopher Columbus had also brought back seeds that it because caused it to get popular in Spain? Is it through Cortez that the king learned how highly the Aztecs value chocolate that caused it to become popular in Spain? Or is it because he was not impressed by cacao seeds brought in by Columbus that it became popular in Spain? Remember, if you look back in this paragraph, it says that view changed. Remember, he wasn't impressed when Columbus brought it to him. He said it changed after Cortez came back, right, with the trunks of seeds because he saw firsthand the importance of cacao seeds to the Aztecs. So through Cortez, the king learned what value those um, seeds had, right? How valuable they were to the Aztecs. Which statement best explains the relationship among these three facts? So natural chocolate tastes bitter. The Spanish began adding sugar to the chocolate water and then chocolate houses appeared throughout Europe. So is it that the drink became popular in Europe because there are places to go to drink it? Well, that kind of goes with this fact, but doesn't combine all of the facts. Only wealthier people could afford to buy the sweet chocolate drink. Nothing here talks about how much it costs or only the wealthy being able to have it. The chocolate drink became popular in Europe because sugar made it taste better. Hmm, it was bitter, we added sugar, and now it's popular and chocolate houses are popping up. That one kind of includes all three. Or people in Central America began adding sugar to chocolate water to sweeten it. Well, this talks about the Spanish adding sugar to the chocolate water. Remember, in Central America, they didn't have sugar. So the best choice is going to be that it became popular in Europe, right, with chocolate houses, because of the sugar that they added for it not to taste bitter. That best combines all three. And click Next. Which statement best explains the relationship among these three facts? In 1828, Conrad J. Van Houten invented a press that produced fine cocoa powder. Cocoa powder was easier to mix with water and led to new types of chocolate treats. Joseph Fry found a way to use cocoa powder to make solid chocolate bars. 
So solid chocolate bars were easier to make than chocolate drinks. What well, doesn't say they were easier to make, and that doesn't really include all of the facts here about adding um, cocoa powder was easier to mix, right? This is just talking about the difference with the solid than the drinks. Van Houten's invention allowed Joseph Fry to create the first chocolate bar. So because Van Houten invented the press, that made cocoa powder, which was easier to mix, and then Fry was able to make a chocolate bar. That includes all three. Cocoa powder paved the way for chocolate houses to open across Europe. That might be true, but this doesn't talk about the chocolate houses. Cocoa powder led to milk chocolate being the next big breakthrough in chocolate history. One here, they're talking about the solid chocolate bars, and then this doesn't include the information about the press. So the one that includes all three facts um, together is the invention of the press allowing for cocoa powder to be made, which led him to be able to make the chocolate bar. And then click next. After 1876, new ways of making chocolate caused a great increase in the number of people enjoying chocolate. Which two facts most directly add up to that relationship? It became known that chocolate has chemicals in it that make people feel good. Cocoa powder allowed people to create new types of chocolate treats. Adding milk to chocolate made it less bitter. The steam engine made it quicker and cheaper to produce chocolate. Cortez brought cases of cacao seeds to the King of Spain. Daniel Peter created milk chocolate. Chocolate houses served chocolate to those rich enough to afford it. Joseph Fry created the first chocolate bar. So remember our new ways of making chocolate and then increasing the number of people that could enjoy it. The new way that they're making it is that they added milk and then they were able to make it more quickly by using the steam engine. So this would be our best choice. Adding that milk made it more enjoyable and then they're able to make it faster. Which statement best explains the relationship among these three facts? The Maya and Aztec highly valued a bitter chocolate drink. Today, people around the world eat chocolate products made with sugar and natural chocolate has chemicals in it that make people feel good. The Maya and Aztec would have liked chocolate more if it was made with sugar. We don't know that. They might have, but they enjoyed it the way that it was. Chocolate's sweeter today, but it's been popular for a long time because it makes people feel good. Well, it is sweeter today, but it was even popular with the Maya and Aztecs, right? Because we learned later on that it made people feel good. Today, sugar has taken the place of chemicals that made people feel good. We don't really know that. Because the Maya and Aztec did not have sugar, chocolate did not make them feel good. Well, it said at the end that even though it was bitter, we found out that chocolate has chemicals in it that make people feel good. So our best choice is that chocolate's sweeter today, but it's been popular for a long time because it makes people feel good. All right, and then perfect timing as my kids come in. Um, we're done with that lesson. I'll see you guys later.